Hi, welcome to this Man Win Win demonstration. Man Win Win is a maintenance management software and its implementation starts with the configuration of all our main information, such as the functional organization tree, the list of cost centers, our personnel, item types, or the library of maintenance tasks. The goal is to structure our data in the software, so we can then start registering our assets where we'll want to centralize all the information in their data sheets. We'll be able to use the coordinates we previously created, attach photos or documents, and insert all relevant details about our equipment. We'll also have some operational info, such as warranty or maintenance contracts details, and we'll be able to monitor the assets running records. We can input this data manually under the Running Records option, or this data can be obtained from other systems through ManWinWin API. The software will then use these readings to estimate what will be the, the record on a certain date, or when will we reach a specific record. This feature is also used for the maintenance plans that are record-based and it helps them keeping the calendar updated. There is also another option that allows us to monitor, in this case, the asset condition. Parameters such as temperature, pressure or noise can be recorded into the software. Again, this data can be done manually or through the API. ManWinWin allows the user to obtain himself QR codes or NFC tags for assets identification. By reading these tags and logging in, a technician can have a quick and simple access to the asset info and also to some useful features on a daily basis. Also in the plan tab, where we have our assets, we'll be able to create the maintenance plans, which can have one or more maintenance schedules. The content of each maintenance schedule can be as simple or complete as each user wants. Ideally, it will include a checklist with the tasks that must be performed, and it can also include the planned resources, man hours, spare parts, or third-party services. It is also possible to plan parameter readings, tools that might be necessary, or even attach a document for the technician to be able to access when performing this job. This maintenance plan is set in motion through work orders, which are the engine of Man Win Win. Scheduling a work order is assigning that maintenance schedule to someone in our team and choosing a date for it to be performed. This is now the work order we'll have to perform. When reaching this stage in Man Win Win implementation, it is time to switch to the work orders tab. Here, we'll be able to access all the different work types by each work order status as well. We can access a work orders list with a sort of traffic light alert, which lets us know which jobs are already late, which are closed, and which are still far away and we still have time to prepare for. We can also access the calendar view, which is useful for when rescheduling is necessary. This can be done with the drag and drop feature. A maintenance technician can report his work orders in two main ways. One, the most traditional method, by filling in a printed work order and reporting all the relevant details about the work order. Or two, by using the mobile tools that ManWinWin has. For a technician to perform and report this work order, which you will now issue, he could read this equipment QR code and access the work order through the SmartTag feature. Or he could use the ManWinWin app, which is available for, for both Android and iOS systems. Or even he could access ManWinWin web which is the most complete mobile access out of this tree. Here, he can also access equipment data or documents or history. And he will also be able to view all the work orders. 
This interface is 100% responsive, so it can be accessed from any device with a browser. For his work order, the technician could insert his man hours in real time and start counting the time that is necessary to actually perform the planned tasks. He could also report spare parts, if any applied. For example, he could have taken a filter from the warehouse, so we would now register the stock output. He could also take a picture of the equipment at the end of the work and then finalize, he could execute this work order and optionally sign his name so all the details will be kept in his record. When terminating a systematic work order, ManWinWin automatically creates the next one, so you don't have to worry or forget about any intervention. In this way, you are able to organize and schedule all the planned maintenance activities at the beginning of the implementation. Regarding corrective maintenance, ManWinWin allows the users to report any breakdown or any maintenance needs directly into the software through what we call the Work Requests module. Every time a situation that requires the maintenance team to uh, intervention is detected, an operator or a maintenance client can log into the system and then submit his work request. He can simply describe the problem and then refer to the assets. Any additional information uh, that he might find relevant can also be reported, of course. This work request is then automatically received in ManWinWin back office. Here, the maintenance team can receive the notification and they can also receive an email alert as well through the workflow plugin that ManWinWin has. They will then approve or reject this work request and then create a new work order to complete it. This work order will now be linked to a different work type, in this case, a repair. It will not have a periodicity assigned to it, but it will again be assigned to someone from our technical team, and then we will decide when we'll be carrying out this work. The details of what's going to be done can be inputted under the task tab as notes, or we can use again the checklist tab. By using the checklist tab, the advantage is that besides the actual maintenance tasks, we can also include any preparatory tasks and any ending tasks that might be necessary. This can be regarding the health and safety requirements of the company or even the product quality requirements that sometimes are necessary to comply with. The cycle of this work order will then be very similar to the one we've seen already. The technician will perform the job, report all the details into ManWinWin, and then terminate it. But this time, a new one will not be generated. Another advantage of using the work request module is that not only the maintenance will have a log of all the requests ever submitted, but also the requesters that being the maintenance clients, are also informed in real time about the status of their requests, knowing exactly if a work order has been already assigned to their issues and having also the possibility to exchange messages with the maintenance team. Besides managing all types of maintenance, ManWinWin also allows you to manage maintenance stock that exists in one or several stores. This can be done under the Materials tab in the Stores view. Here, we can create all our physical stores and then in each one allocate the materials we there have. In each item datasheet, we will also be able to gather some information about them and also refer the maximum stock, the minimum stock and the security stock levels for each one of these items. When comparing the actual situation of an item with these levels, the software will offer us the visual control of the stock level. And then he will let us know which materials are okay and which ones we should buy more. The stock level is, is then calculated 
based on all the simple movements that are daily performed in a store. Store inputs every time we buy materials, store outputs every time we spend materials, like we did in our work orders. We can also do store transfers if necessary. These actions allow us to keep the stock level updated in Manwin Win, so we can know exactly what we can count on. By using this area of the software, we'll also be able to obtain some real consumption statistics that we can use to optimize our store management. This is a module that works together with the rest of the software that we've seen until now and allows us to manage maintenance stock in a very simple way. A maintenance department can also centralize its purchasing and man win win and they can create and keep track of all the purchase orders for both materials and services to their suppliers. Proposal requests can be done as well. And for each purchase order, an actual file can be exported and sent to the supplier based on each on which he'll then invoice us. This again is a module that works along with the rest of the software and allows the maintenance team to organize all their activities in the same software. The last tab on the desktop part of the software, it's the costs area. In here, all the records that have been inputted throughout the software are kept and able to be analyzed and exported. Also in this tab, we can prepare a maintenance budget. We can link accounts and cost centers and then specify the amount of budget we have available. Throughout the year, we can then monitor the maintenance budget so we can know at any moment where are we standing with it. It is also possible to manage, in a simple way, maintenance contracts celebrated with suppliers or with clients. We can describe a contract, say what does it include, what is the time period for it, and to which assets it applies. And then, throughout the year, we'll be able to input the different work orders that are performed and keep them track of this contract. We have now seen all the main features that are necessary to the daily activity of a maintenance department. When information is required about a specific asset, when we have a question about something, we can easily go to the plant or to the work orders tab, search for that item, access its history and take a look at the different reports that the software has. We can look at costs, we can look at hours, we can look at materials, we can look at reports with more or with less details. But aside from this, ManWinWin provides us also with other ways of analyzing our maintenance data. One way is by accessing the analysis which can be done from the top of our organization to the bottom, at the equipment level. The history of this analysis will be stored from the moment we start using the software. And this analysis will then be able to be accessed in three categories, such as costs, like maintenance costs, materials, costs. We can also take a look at hours or times, we can take a look at man hours for each type of maintenance, we can take a look at waiting times or downtime, and we can also see events, things that happened, breakdowns, how many work requests came in, how many jobs we were not able to perform. All this information is automatically organized by the software, it is exportable to PDF, Word or Excel, and you can also print it if necessary. Another way of looking at the maintenance status is by accessing the dashboard that comes with Manwin Win before the plant tab. In here, we'll have an overview of what's going on in our maintenance department. We'll see the equipment that breaks down the most, the equipment whose repairs cost us the most, the evolution of our maintenance types, for our stock value and other information. It is also here that we can create our KPIs, divided in the sections over here. 
When creating a KPI, the user will be able to access our formula editor. And this makes it virtually unlimited regarding the number of KPIs that can be created in ManWinWin, as the user can combine automatic parameters with manual ones, with accounts, or even with materials. All the KPIs can be analyzed at different levels as well. And again, they can be printed or exported. Besides the KPIs, there's also a work report tool. In here, we'll be able to choose the time period of our analysis, and we can also filter the area we'll be looking at. We will then select the report that we want to analyze. We can check work orders by work type to understand the ratio of our maintenance types. We can also take a look at costs by work type so we can understand where exactly are we spending money. We can also take a look at hours by employee so we can understand which technician has more man hours inputted into the system. So basically, there are dozens of reports available in ManWinWin. We have now seen all the desktop modules and main features. We looked at the mobility tools as well. The last thing we're going to now take a look at are the ManWinWin plugins. These are some add-ons that are meant to facilitate the day-to-day -day of a maintenance team. In here, we have an advanced report feature which is also related with the reporting area. This allows us to structure the most used reports and then just export them when necessary. The advantage is that this will come with a front page, with an index, so basically it will save us a lot of time whenever we need to share this data with other departments. There is also an import tool that allows us to quickly create data in the software from an Excel template. It can be assets, it can be materials, suppliers, or inventories, for example. It helps with speeding up the process of data insertion, especially in the beginning of the software utilization. We also have the SLA, or Service Level Agreement, that is meant to help maintenance service providers with monitoring and tracking closely the responding time to their clients' maintenance requests. There is also the workflow plugin, which we mentioned before. This is a feature that allows us to create email notifications for different situations. An email whenever a work request comes in, another email whenever a work order is, is late, or even a weekly or a monthly email with a summary of the work order status. We have now seen all the main features of ManWinWin. And if we'd wanted to summarize everything in one page, this page would be it. ManWinWin has a desktop app that is the main access, where new assets are created, new maintenance plans are created, reports and analysis can be exported. The stores and the purchase orders are also managed in here. We then have the mobile tools that are meant for our team to use on the field so they can easily access and report their information from a smartphone if necessary. And then we also have a very simple interface, can be web-based or an app, for our maintenance clients to send us their requests. On top of this, we can also add some plugins that will help us gain some time in certain activities and provide us with some additional features. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration and that it was useful. Should you be interested in knowing more about Manwin Win, feel free to leave us a contact request or check out our different licenses. Thank you.